Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Now, we've uh, talked about uh, how to set items for startup, at least in Windows. Uh, you could likely drag the shortcut for a program into the startup folder, which can be found in your start menu. It's right there. Click the start button and go up to programs, or in some cases, you have to click the all programs if you happen to be using Vista, and then look for the startup folder, drag a shortcut to a program directly in there, and then that program will launch on Windows Startup. Of course, some programs have an option where you can say, click here if you want to run this program on startup, but not every program does that. That's why Windows provides you a startup folder. The uh, question was asked by Shade earlier this evening. It says, does anyone know how to change things so they start at startup on a Mac? I thought that was a really good question. In fact, uh, I remember sitting down with Lordcat a couple weeks ago at Gnome Dex, and he was trying to figure out the same thing. Uh, they were looking to take the item out of the automated startup, and they, they weren't quite sure how to do that. It's a little different with a Mac. In many ways, it's, it's a lot easier. <clears throat> Go figure. So what I'm going to do here, instead of uh, zooming in, is I'm going to flip uh, the uh, uh, camera stream over to the desktop on uh, my OS X uh, installation. Uh, this is the computer that's currently running uh, my live stream. I use OS X. And uh, it's as simple as this, uh, quite honestly. Uh, I've got the uh, dock over on the left-hand side of the screen. And I'm going to see, if I zoom in, of course, we'll lose the chat. So I don't know if I want to do that. Um, but I'm going to show you, nice and simply, just right-click on any one of the icons. And, of course, if you don't have a right mouse button, uh, you could use the double tap if you've got a keypad. Or if you have a Mighty Mouse, you can uh, set up the Mighty Mouse uh, to pretend to be a, a right mouse button and be a right click, a context menu. Um, there are uh, other ways of doing it, but uh, you know, I'll leave it up to you. Um, or if you, don't, if you don't have a right mouse button, you can also click and hold, and that will give you the same context menu. So there's a variety of ways that you can get to the context menu or the right click menu from OS X. One of the options in there is going to say open at login. Huh. That's all it takes. Then you just uh, there's no check mark next to it. You select that option, and uh, it'll open at login. And then if you want to take it out of login automatically, you just go in and you uh, select it again. So let's say I wanted to run QuickTime Player, uh, I'd say open at login. Or if I wanted to run Comic Life, open at login. It's that easy. It's crazy easy. Ha, ah, it's insanely easy. But of course, if you want more management, you can open up your system preferences and going into the accounts option, or I guess a panel, uh, depending on how you uh, want to describe it or what the official word is. I'm still unclear, but I can tell you this is how you get there. This gives you a full list of the items that will run on startup. In fact, you can choose to hide them. From here, you can press the add button if you want to do it the hard way uh, and then go and browse for uh, a program and say, oh, I want to run Onyx uh, on startup or Omni Outliner or the maintenance or iWeb or Safari or Sherlock or the Sling Player. Uh, it'll Then once you press add, it will be added to the list. There we go. There's a Sling Player application. Uh, and then if you want to take it off, you just press the minus button uh, as you're uh, hovering over it, and that's just about it. Uh, that's all it takes to manage the login options inside of OS X. Uh, certainly a, a bit more elegant in my mind uh, compared to the way it's managed in Windows. Let me flip back to the webcam here. And hi, it's me. <laughs> I'm using, by the way, VNC to remotely access the Mac Mini that's across the room from me and connected to the camera, which is also across the room from me. It's all a, a geeky kind of setup, but it's, it's kind of fun, too. Fun and functional, and isn't that what it's all about? Well, anyway, if you have any other ways of managing login items either inside of Windows or OS X or maybe even Linux as well, by all means, we're looking for recommendations. Uh, if you choose to use any utilities at all, uh, certainly, I'm sure people, well, at least Shade want to know the answer to that question. And Shade, hopefully that was the answer to your question. 
Uh, well, uh, take any other questions you might have. You can email me, chris at perillo.com. Of course, you're also welcome to swing by the chat room anytime, day or night, after you've watched a few of our videos. And I know you're watching our videos because every single hour of every single day, I get an email from one of you saying, I've been watching your videos on YouTube. Well, what are you waiting for? Stop by the chat room. We're there, talking. Or in some cases, people are talking at me. And sometimes I'm busy doing other things, but I know other people are not busy uh, or may not be as busy enough to answer your question if you happen to have a question or if you just want to hang out. I mean, do you, do you have a place that you normally hang out? I mean, I don't know. Maybe they, just, I'm just saying. You can come here. That, you know, TX Nana tells you. That's, that's where we're at, live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.